Hello and welcome to uh, November 17th edition of the Chaos Diversity, Equity, Inclusion Working Group meeting. We have uh, four of us today, power users of DEI metrics. Here we are. Um, let me just share my screen. You would think I would do this faster. But That's I don't. okay. It's only four. This is a low stress meeting with all yeah. of us. Yeah. All right. Um, okay. So first thing on the agenda is to, oh yeah, pick a facilitator for the next, not next week, the week after that. So December 1st. Thank you for whoever put that date in there. I'm happy to do it. No problem. All right. And that shall be so next meeting. Thanks, Matt. All right. We got feeling all right, new ovens, making some toast. It's exciting days. Um, just in case anyone has not heard or has not been, was that not at the community meeting yesterday, um, we did decide the holiday schedule for um, all chaos meetings coming up. So no meetings next week because of the US Thanksgiving holiday. And then after that, um, for the end of year slash holiday break, um, no meetings December 9th through uh, January 10th of next year. We will reconvene at that time. So a nice long break, to everybody to have a little rest and just kind of get reset. Well-deserved, yes. We've done a lot in 2021. Yeah, we had a busy, busy year. Um, the only other thing that I think was on the agenda, um, we could talk about the onboarding stuff if we wanted. Um, but I think everyone in this meeting has been kind of up to date on those discussions and like our efforts to try to bring all of the different pieces of our onboarding documentation into one place. Um, I will share uh, Matt in case no one has seen this. Uh, let's see. Let's move the blog. Uh, Matt Snell, can't, can't you Snell, Snell can't you uh, wrote this awesome blog post which is meant to eventually be, I think, a landing page for uh, for the onboarding for newcomers. Um, so he has some three common ways to get started. And then a could little we, bit more about that. Go to the chaos main page. Sure. Do we want that in a separate tab or? Yeah, separate tab. Yeah. So I, I thought maybe we could just kind of decide how we might want this deployed. You know what I mean? And we could open an yeah. issue for Kevin just to get his thoughts. I thought maybe we could use the time to do this. So yeah, like, is your, is your thought to have like a, you see where it says like, learn more? Mm -hmm. Like, what if we just, what does that go to? What is it the about page? Yeah. Yeah. So what if we, so go back once. Like, what if we, I wonder if Kevin could put another button there that's like, yeah, like participate or something like mm -hmm. that. Mm -hmm. Right in here. Or, yeah, or join whatever. Join community whatever, what, or something. Yeah, yeah, right, exactly. Something, join us, you join know. Us. Like, yeah, I, I like that. Lauren um, Kafai, what do you think? Do you like join us or? Yes, or, I like join us. So maybe I'll... <laughs> Okay, let me, um, so let me open an issue in the website. Okay. For Kevin. And so then do you think that like on the, the main home page, mm -hmm. like that would still so if you go to participate, is there drop downs under participate? Mm -hmm. No. So um like Kevin wants to keep both of these, and I understand that because the participate mm -hmm. page actually does have like <laughs> pretty oh, important yeah. to go yeah mm -hmm. like if you want to join slack and mm -hmm. it's got all the nice i don't know stuff. yeah right it's got all that stuff and i we can't get rid of all that um 
so like what's the difference between join us and participate hmm good question like we could rename participate to something else but yeah it would make sense to keep it consistent you know, so that if you click on this and you click on this, maybe you get to the same place. But Kevin, but Kevin wants to keep that giant page. Right. Oh, and like I the join us yeah. button I see what would go to the tiny page. Yeah. The more consolidated page. What did, what did uh, Matt put for the title of that? Is it just learn more? Learn more. Oh, yeah. All right. We already have a learn more button. Yeah. <laughs> I kind of learn wonder more. if, if the, um the page that matt put together is more of like a get connected or like get acquainted kind of like a it's kind of like an orientation yes. page you know um so i wonder if that button says something like get involved or yeah get connected um participate is more of like the the agenda and like the project structure to me like how the community is organized and the page mm -hmm. that matt put together i think is more of like how would i initially get off the ground and running if that makes sense. It totally makes sense. Mm -hmm. So do you think that, I mean, we can rename participate at the top to something like, I don't know, super boring, but like work structure. <laughs> like, I don't know, that's a terrible name, but. Um, so then would Matt's page um, become like a, like part of the drop down under participate? Are you saying add a drop down to the participate? Part in the nav bar no i'm saying we just would keep the i don't i think we would just keep participate that one at the top i think as that a link would be to that fine page. personally okay um i think if we were going to link to matt's page with a button where like next to learn more maybe it says uh -huh. like um get connected or something like that connect with us yeah connect to us. okay yep. let me put a few options then so you're you're okay, Lauren. You think it's okay if like one says participate and it takes us to the um, that huge page. It's got all it's got an important information, but it is a little overwhelming sometimes. Versus yeah. a I button think that says okay. Yeah, and if they're going to different pages, I think the text on the drop or the the nav bar button oh. and the button in the banner should be different. <laughs> yeah. Kind yes. Yep. What if we just went with Matt's, go back again to learn more, that tab? What if we just said, like, where do I start as the button? Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Um, my only question would be if someone is looking to use the metrics versus contribute to the project. Like, that we are going to have newcomers from both sides, so. You do, um, you're right. I don't know how to separate that out, but. Well, then maybe I like join us better you know, join the community. Um, okay. So let me, see. I'll ping. Do you know if Matt's original idea was to have this learn more button point to that? Is that why he titled it that? Do you know? Anyone? I don't know. Like, right. Was it just by mistake? <laughs> like, by, yeah. by talking about them that they were yeah. Yeah. I don't know. And I don't remember from previous conversations about this if we had talked about linking that learn more to the onboarding, but okay. Yeah. So I'm just saying we'd like to add a button next to learn more that points to Matt sees uh like where do I start? Yeah, we are also working on this video. So we'll have a video on okay. that page as well. So just like a quick. Uh, like I'm, I'm wondering like if the learn more button, that one, no, I'm, I'm sorry, oh. on the, on the, because yeah, we have two, yeah, that yeah. one. Like, what if we just get rid of that? Like we have about mm -hmm. right at the top and that's, you know, that should either say about <laughs> or be removed to Lauren's point. They should be the same if they yeah, are the same. I tend to agree. Okay. Um, 
for like to I'm gonna say I'd, we'd like to replace the learn more button. I'm gonna say actually not replace rename. Take this part off too. <laughs> and then put the chaos this chaos con is back. <laughs> oh yeah. And then maybe put a picture on it. Sorry, those are unrelated edits. Um instead. So rename the button. to join us or is that, is that join us is the best? Join us is pretty good. So, yeah. I feel like, yeah, eventually we'll, we'll have maybe like a um, start here-ish kind of page for both using and contributing. And like the little Yeah, no, I like that idea. Like, cause then it could be like, um, join us and then the other could be like use our metrics and tools yeah yeah or we make it very clear and then it like goes to metrics models or something yeah yeah or then it goes to like another page like matt's yeah like, i want to use metrics i want to use software yeah, we're start. yeah yeah okay um can you just real quickly grab that blog post and put it in the chat so sure. I can put it in there. Thanks. Okay, so then I'm going to say ultimately, I'd like to two buttons. that helps people who want to contribute. Matt, do you know if the website audit is still uh, happening or like what the I is? don't know actually. Okay, I was just curious because that might fit in with like just a rehash of the site. You know, it seems yeah. like there's a lot of little tweaks. Okay, well, I posted, yeah, I don't know about the audit. I did post okay. the issue at least. So let me get that in here. Okay. Minutes. Because I thought we talked about it in the last meeting, and I think we talked about this a little, like in the community meeting, and it's probably not that hard. Yeah. Um, so here's that's the issue there. Oh, perfect. Thanks, Matt. Yep. All right. So I think the only other thing we had was just we we were reviewing old metrics. Um, I know last time. I believe last time we started on, we worked a little bit on this board council diversity, but then we started on sponsorship as well. And that one is going to need a lot, I think, of work because okay. it's kind of confusing. So what do we feel like? How's our brain power today? What do we feel like doing? I'm good. I, I will have to, like, I'm guessing I'm going to have to drop off in about five minutes. Okay. Like once I see the truck roll up, you know what I mean? Yeah. Let's just click in here and see where we are. Oh, I was hoping to like to the. What happened? I, actually, what oh, happened wait. to um, code of conduct? Are we done with that? Uh, good question. Because that was one that we were working on pretty heavily for a while, and like, yeah. if you recall, I it, I picked it because I didn't think it would require that much work. Yeah. <laughs> and it exploded. Um. Okay. Not to update existing system, which includes updated text as defined here. 
to find where. But well, that's... just click on it. Oh, yeah. actually, no. That's just the. I think we actually had a. That's the original one. Yeah, we so... had a Google Doc. Yeah, we do. I I can get it. Okay. Do you want to start with that one then? Let's maybe finish that one up. Yeah, because that would be good. Because then I can kind of start the process of like signaling that this is being updated. Yeah. Yeah, I kind of fell off. I don't know what happened to it. So let's see. Huh. It's not in. The, okay, let me. I'm going to give me a second here. I've got to go. Yeah, no worries. Dry. You know, I'm going to pause the recording anyway, if we're just going to jump in okay. and start working on that. If that's cool. Yeah. Kevin has already responded to that issue, by the way. Oh, geez. So. He's like, sounds good. I'll give it some thought. Um, he's on top of it. Let's see. What am I doing? Um, Everybody. And we're back from working on the code of conduct metric. Um, what else do we have left in the meeting? Anything else anybody wants to bring up or talk about before we sign off here? None for me. <laughs> None for me too. All right. I guess we're ready to go then. Um, Bambi, they, uh, just so you know, we have no meetings next week. Um, and then after that, we will have, a, have a, I think, a couple meetings, but then there's no meetings December 9th through January 10th. So it's in the agenda here. Um, I'll just drop this in the chat just so you can see that and mark your calendars. So I don't want you to show up next week and have nobody here. <laughs> You'll be just meeting by yourself. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, all right. Um, I think that's it. Everybody have a great rest of your week, and uh, we'll see you in two weeks. Take care, Happy everyone. Thanksgiving, everybody. Bye. Bye. Bye.